Mr. Clown here for Clown Master. Today we're going to be looking at quadratics and the intersection of lines and parabolas. Essentially where a curve meets a line. For any question where lines intersect graphs of other functions, which you could be given at other topics in higher, we usually solve these equations simultaneously to find the point of intersection. So if we solve them simultaneously, three things can happen. Either the line touches the parabola at two points, in that case, the resulting quadratic that we get when we're solving them, b squared minus 4ac, we discover that it must be greater than zero. We'll tell you there's two points of intersection. But if it's only got one point of intersection, that point is called a tangent. And that means that if b squared minus 4ac equals zero, the point is a tangent or a point, one point of intersection. Clearly, you could also get from not touching at all. That would be the case when b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, there would be no points of intersection. At higher maths, the key one we'll look at is this one a lot of the time. We will be told that the line is a tangent to the parabola, or we'll be asked to prove that it is by showing b squared minus 4ac equals z. Let's look at a few examples. Example 1 from the HSN notes show that the line y equals 5x minus 2 is a tangent to the parabola y equals 2x squared plus x and find the point of contact. So step 1 is to solve them, the equations simultaneously. So the first equation we've got is y equals 5x minus 2 and the other equation is y equals 2x squared plus x. To solve these simultaneously, since they both equal y, we can make the right-hand sides equal to each other. So 2x squared plus x equals 5x minus 2. Moving the x's and all the numbers over to the same side, that gives me 2x squared. 1 minus 5 is minus 4x. Minus 2 becomes plus 2, and that equals 0. Tangent is what we're told in the question. If it's a tangent, then b squared minus 4ac would equal 0. So let's check b squared minus 4ac. Minus 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times 2. That's 16. 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is also 16. Is equal to 0. So since since b squared minus 4ac equals 0, we've proved that it is a tangent. So we've got 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. 2 is a common factor. So we've got x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Repeating root, which we should expect because the discriminant was equal to zero, so the root occurs at x equals one. Substituting that back into the original equation, we can just use this one. Five times one is five, minus two is three, y equals three, the point of contact is one, three. Nice and simple and straightforward. Example two from the HSN notes, find the equation of the tangent to y equals x squared plus 1, that has a gradient of 3. Notice in this question we're not given the equation of a straight line. So we have to try and make the equation of a straight line as we go, and maybe there'll be something missing from it. So let's write down the equations we do have. We've got y equals x squared plus 1, and for an equation of a straight line, we've got y equal mx, where m is 3, plus some number c. Now we don't know what that, where it cuts the y-axis, but we do know that would be the equation of a line. And we know since it's a tangent, we touch, so we can make the equations equal to each other and solve. So we've got x squared plus 1 equals 3x plus c. Moving everything over to the left, x squared minus 3x plus 1 minus c equals z a equals 1, b equals minus 3, and c equals well, 1 minus c. But let's, that's fine. So, we need to use b squared minus 4ac to show that, make that equal to 0 since it's a tangent. So b 
b squared minus 4ac. We've got minus 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 minus c. And we know that this equals 0. So that's 9. 4 times 1 is 4. Times the number 1 is still 4. Minus 4. 4 times c is 4c. Minus times a minus is a plus. Plus 4c equals 0. So 4c equals the number 9 minus 4 is 5. So minus 5. c is minus 5 over 4. So back up here, that's the equation of the tangent, that's the equation we don't know, it's 3x minus 5 fourths, and we're done. That's the example in this one, it says find the equation of the tangents from 0 minus 2 to the curve y equals ax squared. Again, right now the information we do have. We've got y equals ax squared, and we've got y equals mx, we don't know m, plus c, but this time we do know c, it cuts the y-axis at 0 minus 2, and c is where it cuts the y-axis, so minus 2. Since our tangents, they touch with each other, we find the point of intersection, so make them equal to each other. ax squared equals mx minus 2. So ax squared minus mx plus 2 equals 0. Remember, tangent means when you find this equation, b squared minus 4ac will be equal to 0. So b is minus m, so minus m squared minus 4 times a times 2 equals 0. That's m squared. 4 eighths is 32 times 2 is 64. Nice and simple equation to solve. m squared is equal to 64. So m must be 8. Or m must be minus 8. So we've got two equations for tangent. There must be two tangents. So our first equation is y equals 8x minus 2. Our second equation is y equals minus 8x minus 2. And to give you an idea of what that actually looks like, why you could have two tangents to a curve. If I draw a simple sketch, this is not to scale or accurate for this question, but if we had a curve like this, then you could have one tangent on one side and you could have another tangent on the member side. And you'd end up with two tangents to that curve. Thank you.